Hey guys, Crewman here, and in today's video, I want to talk about how AMD pushing pushing their launch date of RDNA 4 back to March is a good thing, and in today's video, I'm going to explain why. Dave McAfee, VP and GM of Ryzen CPU and Radeon Graphics at AMD, so basically one of the top guys, so I would take his word as basically truth, that he says, and I quote, the Radeon 9000 series hardware and software are looking great and we are planning to have a wide assortment of cards available globally. I can't wait for gamers to get their hands on these cards when they go on sale in March. So there you have it. AMD finally broke their silence and the 9070 XT and the 9070 are releasing in March with what hopefully will be a good supply. So in this video, I want to go over why this tweet is a great thing and why this announcement can only be a good thing for AMD. So please consider liking and subscribing if you like content like this. Please like and hit that sub button. I very, very much appreciate it. The longer it takes for AMD to release these cards, or the longer they delay them, the more supply they can get out into the system. Who remembers this? You remember this? This is the RTX 3090. This was a paper launch. I had got one on launch day. This is actually a launch day one. But do you know how hard this was to get? Do you know how hard the 3080, the 3090, the 3070, the 3060 Ti were to get? Most of them were basically paper launches. How about the RTX 4090? How about that was in short supply? Not quite a paper launch, but didn't have a big supply. How about the 4080 Super? How about the Intel Arc B580? Where, yeah, have you seen any of those around? Even the B570 is proving a little bit difficult to get. Basically, unless you live next to a micro center, you're sunk. Or the upcoming RTX 5090. Do you actually think you guys are going to have a shot at getting one unless you live close to a micro center? Or you have a bot? So hopefully, by delaying a month and a half, they're building up enough stock of the RX 970, 9070, and 9070 XT. So when they launch, everybody who wants one will have no issue getting it. And launches like this will be a thing of the past for AMD. I feel like these days, we're basically trained that if a GPU is not sold out at launch, it was a dud and it was crap. And I don't believe that's the case. I believe that... The best GPU is the one that is in stock, a good product, of course, but it's actually in stock so that whoever wants it buys it. Like one of the best things you could see maybe is when you see sales figures released for the first month, you know, for April, the AMD 9070 and the 9070 XT are selling like hotcakes and their sales numbers are fantastic and yet they're still in stock. So that would be an incredible thing. Could you imagine a fantastic product in stock so that anybody who wants one can buy it? That could be an only a good thing as the more of these cards AMD sells, the more market share they get back, which is what all of us gamers and PC gaming enthusiasts and PC enthusiasts in general should be should want. So the next thing they absolutely have to get right, and I hopefully this is why they're taking extra time, they absolutely have no choice but to get the pricing right. If AMD botches the pricing on this generation, that's it, that's done, it's over. NVIDIA came out like the 800,000 pound gorilla it is. Absolute gangbuster pricing on the, four, on the 5080 and the 5070. Even the 5070 Ti, honestly, is not a terrible price. We're not talking about the 5090 in this video because there are plenty of videos going over that price, and I'm not touching that in this one. So, I hope that AMD is taking this time to talk to their board partners to make sure they get their price right. Based on one of the unreleased slides from the CES presser, the RX 9070 XT is looking to be somewhere around... The RTX 4070 in terms of price, in terms of performance comparison. Now we know that the performance jump between the 4070 and the 5070 isn't very good, and we hope that the jump between the higher end cards is better than what is being reported. We'll have those numbers probably in a few days. So based on what we know, we can expect that maybe you're looking at a 10 to 20 percent performance improvement. Uh, from the 5070 Ti to the 4070 Ti, I'm thinking maybe like a 15%. I'm just, you know. So that basically puts the RX 9070 XT within striking distance of the 5070 Ti. 
So if you look at the price of the 5070 Ti, $749, basically AMD has to beat that. And they have to beat that by a pretty good margin. I think that the price of the 9070 XT needs to be $600. I think in $600, that gives them justification where they can compete with the 5070 Ti, but at $150 less for 15% performance, you're probably going with the 9070 XT. Now, if AMD really, really wants to blow everything up and really stick it to NVIDIA and pull like an Intel-like price, then they should match the 5070 at 549. If they can do that, that gives the AIBs a little bit of room to breathe and it says we're coming for you because the 9070 XT at the 5070 price basically kills the 5070 on the spot and it'll either force Nvidia to lower the price or just saying we don't care, we're assuming you're gonna buy it because we're team green and we're the best. So if AMD really wants to improve their market share, they will match the 5070 price. Look at that performance at the 5070 price. That would be incredible. That's it for this one. These are the reasons why you should be excited for AMD delaying their cards until March. Honestly, a month isn't gonna matter. If you were waiting for the 5070 or the 5070 Ti, you can wait another 30 days. The only people that are rushing out to buy a graphics card right away are the ones who have to have the latest and greatest like me and are gonna camp out to get a 5090 because they're crazy. I'm crazy, right? We're all crazy if we want a 5090 that bad. I don't think there's any problem with waiting and frankly, we need an AMD to succeed just like we need Intel to succeed. We need all three companies to push NVIDIA so we can force prices down. If you want a $2,000 5090 to be the regular, then don't root for AMD. Let it be a one horse race and see what NVIDIA does next generation. We really, really need AMD and Intel to succeed. We need a three horse race. I'm rooting for AMD and so should you. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content. The channel is growing rapidly. We are on week two, and we are already crushing it in terms of performance. So thanks again. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below, whether you agree with me or not. 